Is that our is our next topic? <laughs> we really are out of ideas, aren't we? You would rather give us a Puss in Boots two instead of a Shrek five. Give me a Shrek five. <laughs> okay, I've never actually talked about this on the podcast before, but oh? um, the original Puss in Boots I saw with my family, and we still to this day hold it as one of the single worst movies we've ever seen in theaters. <laughs> all Not three of us. Heard. It was the first time we ever got out of a movie. Just all looked at each other going, did any of us like this movie? That was awful. Like, I'm sure there's fans of Puss in Boots out there. More power to you. I hated this movie. So I'm already coming from, I don't want this to happen. But two, that happened, I'm sure, what? Over 10 years, at least 10 years ago? Like, who is asking for a Puss in Boots 2? That being said, the premise is interesting. Of supposedly, Puss is on his last life, and he's on the hunt for some magical thing that will reset his life counter. I'm going, cats don't literally have nine lives, but it's fantasy. Whatever. He's a magical cat. Let him please do his thing. He's magical because <laughs> he's voiced by Antonio Banderas. That man is magical. Yes. Um, oh, what a guy. And he's in Uncharted. Never forget that. <laughs> um, I am so scratching my head at this. And Josh is broken. <laughs> he's like, I know we're talking about Puss in Boots, but I have to talk about Uncharted real quick. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> At the rate we're going, Puss in Boots is going to come out before Uncharted. But who asked for this? Like you said, where is Shrek 5? Like, are we supposed to be getting, like, a Shrek sequel slash reboot? Um, Because for those at home that want to feel old, Shrek just turned 20, my friends. Um, (laughs) Make it stop. Make it stop. No. (laughs) We're, We're old, Josh. No. I guess you could. I guess you could say. Somebody once told me Shrek's told turning me 20. Oh. Um, oh, no. Who asked for this? Just why? <laughs> like, It's not like the first one was even universally beloved. I'm sure it made a decent amount of money because it's an animated kids movie, but just why? That was also around the same time like Zach Galifianakis was really big because he played Humpty Dumpty, which is the weirdest casting ever. Just, But also the best? Just why? I don't get this like there's good movies out there that we have still have yet to make but we're going with this like my brain I mean, is melting and it hurts like i don't know how it hurts if it's melting but it is i just my brain is not computing the dumbness that is this decision like what i can literally give name off like two or three movies that would be better ideas than this um you know, as as a uh, seasoned movie exec, I, I know I know so much about what the fans want and blah blah. blah. I I don't. I'm trying to also like keep in mind that our discussion last week was like fandoms. about fan, fandoms and stuff like that. And like try not to make hypocrites out of ourselves. Yes. But again, at the, uh, out of the same time, at the same time. Like literally, who was asking for this movie? Like, are you like if if this isn't a cash grab? I don't. I I mine is. I don't know what is. Like, how, what what is this? Yeah, who was asking for this? But also, let's not make any mistakes. Let's try not to piss off the Shrek fan base because there's yeah, very few fan bases that scare me more than the Shrekdom. Um, Shrek is love. Shrek is life. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just. There's so many, so many decisions that I do not understand with this. Like, yes, How to Train Your Dragon is done. Kung Fu Panda is done. Let's just drag out the rotting dead corpse that is Puss in Boots. Just milk it for all it's worth. Shrek, you're you're fine in your swamp. We don't need you. We'll bring Bas- back Puss in Boots because that worked so well the last time. However, <laughs> if you think that's the last random reboot we're going to talk about today... You'd be mistaken.